Ohio Secretary of State Frank LaRose is warning voters of possible misinformation ahead of the November election, but he also insists the voting process will be safe and that mail-in ballots will be fully secure. Two News reporter Adam Reif is live with more here on your local election headquarters. Adam. The Secretary of State's office is proactively working to increase transparency ahead of the November 3rd election. That's eight weeks from today. Now, today in Columbus, Secretary LaRose says it requires a lot of effort from thousands of employees, and they need to add even more. One of the concerns I have is that because of a lot of the rhetoric about absentee voting this year, uh, it could cause people to, to, to not want to, to do that. Ohio Secretary of State Frank LaRose is battling mistrust and misinformation ahead of one of the most anticipated elections in history. The state of Ohio will send out 7.8 million absentee ballots this year, and they'll be accepted up to 10 days after Election Day as long as they're legally cast and postmarked by November 2nd, the day before Election Day. So on Election Night, LaRose will report the results that have been collected, but also the number of ballots that have not. We are going to report those results, but we're also going to report the number of outstanding ballots. And what that means is that there will be tens, probably hundreds of thousands of absentee ballots that are still out that we expect to come back. Because so many ballots will likely be in the mail, he advises candidates not declare victory on election night and voters against accepting those claims. He says some results will change after election night. That's not a sign of something nefarious happening. In fact, quite the contrary, it's the sign that the system is working the way it's supposed to. The state requires a minimum of 35,000 poll workers, but LaRose says counties should have 50% more in reserve. And this year, a new tool is tracking how many poll workers are still needed in each county. Bad news doesn't get better with time, and if a county is behind on their poll worker recruitment efforts, then we need to know that so that we can surge resources to them, help them out uh, so that they can step up their game. Now, with so many absentee ballot applications this year, Secretary LaRose says it's critical you not only fill them out correctly, but include your contact information, including an email address or phone number. That way, if there is a mistake, the Board of Elections can get in touch with you and get that corrected. Live in Dayton, Adam Rye, 2 News, working for you.